Hi friends! Oh my gosh, you have no idea, you have no idea. You have no idea. Yesterday one local online newspaper contacted me and, and asked if I want to give an interview about houseplants. And just 30 minutes ago I did. I just did give an interview to the local newspaper. <gasps> like what in the world is going on? It, this is actually my second interview. The first one wasn't the best one because some of my words were a little bit mixed around to have a little bit more juicy one but this one i hope this one will be awesome so i still feel that you know little little i don't even know what i feel guys but i feel <sighs> this is how i feel <sighs> anyway thank you so much for every single new subscriber that i got from my last video it was so awesome to see some new faces some new commenters so it was really really cool and thank you so much and today we will talk about more houseplants. Since this is almost the end of the August, I thought why not to share all of the plants I got this month. And I know we still have about a week, right? I'm filming this on 26th, so we still have some time, but my wallet is screaming because I'm broke. So there is 100% I won't get any more plants this month. Only if I will rescue one, but... Who knows? Who knows, right? So let me show you all seven houseplants. Wow, seven, right? <laughs> all seven houseplants that I received, bought, found and rescued this month. But before doing that, get cozy. As you can tell, I'm wearing all fall colors because it's actually pretty rainy and foggy day. That's why I'm filming in my kitchen because this is my lightest room during this kind of weather. So grab some coffee because today we'll have a chill out day and we'll drool over some beautiful, gorgeous houseplants. Oh, delicious. I'm trying to be normal and casual, you know, but oh my gosh, I'm freaking out inside because in a couple of days, maybe even today, this interview will be out. Woo, okay, 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 okay. The first plant that you see over here in my macrame is one of my newest house plants. Actually, I noticed that I never ever shared with you the plant that I bought from the video when I was meeting another YouTuber, Vea, right? So this is the plant I got. This is Hoya Yati, and guys, just look at the size of it. Look how bushy, how branchy it is. This is a very, very beautiful plant. I just love how it is hanging out over here. I mean, just look at it. Isn't that the perfect, perfect houseplant for a macrame? <sighs> Mind blown, right? So I've got this houseplant for seven either eight euros between seven and eight euros like what in the world <laughs> i was really on the look for more hoyas in this hall will be couple hoyas so this one really won my heart when i saw it actually they helped me to you know choose one and we obviously chose the biggest one you know the juiciest one with the most branches and i'm really happy with my choice really happy okay Another plant was the one that you saw on my video as well. And this is my Alocasia dragon scale, guys. Look at this gorgeous thing. Every single time when I see those leaves, my mind is just goes straight to the jungle or the ninja turtles. No in between. <laughs> so I really love this house plant. This is actually the newest leaf I got this plant when this one was already unfurled but it was still very light green you know very very young stage leaf so it got damaged a little bit but this is not my fault somebody else who was you know transporting this plant probably give it a little scratch but that's okay that's okay this is still a very beautiful plant i'm really proud because here are some sm small leaf leaved babies as well this is the newest leaf 
on that small alocasia as well so this is isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh this looks like the alien plant 100% right guys if you would need to choose the most alien looking plant in this haul this one I think yeah this one would be the most alien looking one it's actually still in the nursery pot because I'm a little bit afraid you know to disturb any of the root balls on the allocations because they are tend to be big drama queens so not sure when I will report it but when I will you will know it <laughs> okay next plant is actually from my fiance shoker right <laughs> weeks ago my boyfriend was going to the big box store and i as always asked just go through some house plants you know shelves maybe you'll find something extra special because this big box store next to our home often have some surprisingly awesome house plants so he did and he came back home <sighs> he came back home with this gorgeous phalaenopsis orchid I love the blooms on it. Actually, some of them are starting to get a little bit dry and I'm a little bit curious why. Because they shouldn't be dying yet, but maybe some stress, you know, of the new apartment, you know, all of these conditions. Anyway, so what he loved about this one, he loved that it had awesome spotty leaves and it reminded him of Paphiopedilum orchids which I totally get. I love this orchid. This is really special because I asked him to go and buy me plants really often. Trust me, really often. But he never comes back with house plants. So this is really special because he did. He did. <laughs> okay, so let me put it aside. Then we have my rescued plant. So if you're new on my channel and subscribed a couple days ago only, let me share one of my passions. And this is a houseplant rescues so i tend to find some houseplants thrown away on the streets outside of my home so people tend to throw houseplants away and i tend to take them home <laughs> so let me show you my most recent rescue this is heavy look at that this is thriving guys so i showed you this houseplant a couple weeks ago maybe a week ago look at it this is still very happy pretty stable and oh i'm really happy about this houseplant i still cannot believe that i found it and rescued it and bring it home and while doing that another dog almost attacked me and my dog so this this is a pretty freaky houseplant because it has a pretty cool background story so that's what i love the most you know all the plants that i find on the streets have a very awesome background stories the way I found them, the way they were left, every single time there is something special about it. And you know, simple houseplants from the stores aren't that special because I just found them on the shelf, I paid for them my money, and that's how they ended up in my home. But this, I was walking in the very early morning of Sunday morning with my dog, and then from the very far away I noticed something green, <laughs> and etc. right? Okay, let me put it down because this is heavy. Anyway, so there are three house plants left and these are my most recent plants. I did not bought them, but I bring them back home from the house plant swap. I also got some uh, little tiny cups that had drainage holes in them and I already am using them. You can see it over here. I'm not sure if you can, but I mean, I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> isn't that the cutest thing ever this is the most cool looking composition that you can have in your kitchen because this is a coffee mug with a cactus <laughs> how, how amazing is that how amazing guys huh get it uh, do you feel the autumn vibe the halloween vibe already because i do feel you can tell by my clothes you can tell by the background that i have over here right huh I actually have ooh, why am I like okay I actually have couple DIYs that I did while I was bored being at home because I have no money to go out <laughs> so I thought to share them with you right now real quick and ask if you want any DIY videos because I feel really inspired to do something with my hands since I am sitting at home why am I so shiny like a star <laughs> so while I was watching a couple movies and TV shows I actually had um, tiny wooden balls here you can see a little bit of it you know with little hole right and I decided to make a what not watermelons I decided to make pump 
pumpkins out of them so I have my hot glue gun and it started like so so as you can tell I started to make I tried to make a shape like a melon oh my gosh what's going on with like a pumpkin so I tried to make a shape like a pumpkin and then I painted it with my nail polish and from the very up close it doesn't look that good but from far away it looks awesome isn't it looks really awesome so I use them as little tiny decorations because I already feel that autumn kick since we have rainy days right now pretty cold nights it's almost like an autumn here or fall whatever you call it right so I just need to do some DIYs because I have no money to buy some decorations myself and in Lithuania Halloween decorations aren't that very common yet because you know, we celebrate Halloween in a very different way than people in the United States, so I'm doing things myself. Also, I made some words, oh my gosh. The thing where you put a little tiny stick that you light on fire and it smokes. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> so I made these out of polymer clay. Let me know what you think. This is very simple. Once again, I used some acrylic paint on top and some nail polish because I did not have any cool paints on hand. So I DIY them. This is actually the same polish I'm wearing on my nails right now. <laughs> so I think this is awesome, right? So I made a couple holes. This one is in Snake's head. This one is over here. And I actually cannot find right now those sticks to put inside and you know to see if these things work because they should work right but they also look really cool I actually could use this as a jewelry dish right but anywho so let me know if you want to see more DIYs like this because I am working on many DIYs right now because I have so much spare time <laughs> don't get me wrong okay this probably looks like a voodoo doll this isn't a voodoo doll this is actually a scarecrow crow scare scarecrow I tried to make something for my upcoming fairy gardens, but it turned out to be a very cute little doll that looks like me. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> okay. This is really out of topic, really sorry. Let's get back to the houseplants. So, another houseplant I got was this cute Sansevieria. I am a big Sansevieria fa fans for those who are new on my channel. And this was a really nice addition to my collection. I actually have the same Kirkai but in copper tone. So I was so, so, so stoked to find a blue one. Oh, I actually already reported it into terracotta pot. So it's already looking so much cooler, right? Because most of my plants are in terracotta pots. So I really love the way it looks. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Cannot wait for it to grow more um, leaves. Anywho, I also got another Hoya. This is actually already in Halloween uh, pot that my sister got me. She actually got me a couple of them. Oh, how cute is that? Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Anyway, so my sister got, she actually thrifted these pots for me. And this just looks like a perfect houseplant for this pot, isn't it? It looks like a nice haircut. It actually looks like my haircut because I tend to have my hair only on one side. So it reminds me of me, but in Halloween wipe. <laughs> so this is Hoya Curtisii. It's a very cute, small, tiny leafed Hoya. And when, what I really love about it, that the leaves on this one are fluffy. They have little tiny hairs and it's really awesome to pet it. <laughs> Is it weird? Maybe. But I really love it. So this is a really, really beautiful plant. And I was so stoked when Lady wanted to swap this one for Hoya Pubicalix cuttings that I had. So I actually swapped that Sensiveria for my Monstera Stendeliana Variegata cuttings. And this one for Hoya Pubicalix. We actually, I think the, we're the only ones who had some Hoya houseplants for the swap. So it was really cool that we just exchanged them, you know? <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, uh, I'm really sorry, you probably will be like, oh, you still did not plant it <laughs> and it's only already Thursday, oh my gosh. This is Monstera Deliciosa, I got it at the swap as well. This is the one with the very crazy roots, I actually put inside a couple paper towels that are moist, you know, just to keep it a little bit more on the moisture side. But anyway guys, this is it for today's video, for today's haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. And before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. 
Okay, since we had something with pumpkins, let me teach you how to see pumpkin in Russian, Lithuanian, and Polish. So if you want to say pumpkin in Lithuanian, you need to say molugas. Once again, molugas. And if you want to say pumpkin in Russian, you need to say tikva. Once again, tikva. And if you want to say pumpkin in Polish, you need to say Oh my gosh, I'm already talking in Polish. <laughs> you need to say dynia. Once again, dynia. As you can tell, really, really different words, right? It's so cool to see when you know, you know, various languages, how sometimes similar words can be with each other, right? But at the same time, there are some words that are like completely different worlds. <laughs> But anyway, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what do you think. Maybe you have any video suggestions. Leave them down below in my comment section. Let's chat. Let's hang out even more, right? Let's not just leave yet. <laughs> like this video. Subscribe if you're new. And till the next time. Bye.